We're going over 10 things I sold from recent thrift hunt videos. I filmed, I think, about 14 in a row. And so everything you see in this video is things that I bought in stores and sold in the last 14 days. Let's get into it. It is a vintage 1998 San Francisco 49ers Jerry Rice Youth XL jersey. It was listed on February 7th at about 1 p.m. Eastern Time. And then it sold five days later, which is today. It just sold this morning. Um, and then the buyer, I did. I just took away all their names. So you can't see who bought it. But if you are a viewer who bought one of these things, thank you very much. It is much appreciated. Not much to see here. The one thing I do want to say is it is a Youth XL. A lot of times I will pass up Youth XL jerseys. Uh, anything smaller than Youth XL, I definitely pass up. But if it's like a Hall of Fame big name player like Jerry Rice or Michael Jordan... Uh, you know, I'm sure Mahomes is up there too. Guys like that, Joe Burrow now with his uh, recent Super Bowl appearance, or well, tomorrow, but you get what I'm saying. Uh, I would sell those. So I took a best offer on this of 35 bucks. Uh, initially, I said I was going to list it at 40, listed it at 44.95, took an offer, and the uh, the buyer paid immediately. So thank you. Next up is a NLT Slimline Reference Bible Burgundy Bonded Leather Red Leather Edition. Tyndale. Normally for this kind of Bible, I can get about 30 bucks, 25 bucks, but there was some writing in the front. So I said some annotation, very small amount, predominantly in the beginning. That is all true. Uh, it was listed on January 28th. So one of the very first thrift hunt videos. And then it sold just about two weeks later, again this morning, uh, for 20 bucks free shipping. I will ship this media mail. So all said and done, I paid 50 cents. It's going to cost about 325 to ship eBay fees is 15%. That is uh, about $3. So all in, we're making about 14 bucks, which is not that good for an individual sale. But when I take a Bible picture, I'm really just doing the this side, you know, front and back, and then a little bit in the middle. So it takes about four or five minutes to take a picture of and then list. So not, not bad when you look at it that way. The next item uh, I listed on January 14th. So I guess it was a little bit before the Thrift Hunt uh, series, but I did definitely show this, at least on Instagram, I think. Uh, and then it sold, when did it sell? It doesn't say when it sold, but it sold, uh, I think, this morning or um, or yesterday. Uh, it's an Alaska sea otter with shell refrigerator magnet clay critters. Clay critters is the brand. You can see on the back, it says clay critters. It's kind of a, I mean, as far as these ceramic magnets go, it's not like, oh, an amazing brand you have to have. But they do have a better sales history than a, a random one. I bought, I think it was 18 We'll say 20. There was 20 magnets. I paid five bucks. I've sold five of them for about 45 or 50 bucks total. Uh, so that's pretty good. You know, only takes, I just put it in my hand. You don't have to really worry about, oh, having the perfect picture for something that costs 15 bucks. I don't think that buyers really care that much. Next up is this Cabela's Northern Goose Down Green Snap Puffer Vest Large Regular as opposed to Large Tall. Uh, they do a lot of tall gear, Cabela's does. Uh, I listed this on February 14th, and it sold after only getting 16 views. That's pretty crazy. Uh, I don't know when it sold. I would guess February 11th, maybe a little bit earlier, the 10th probably. Actually, I do know when it sold. February 8th. I have no idea why the estimated delivery is that long. Um, it was going priority mail. I, I don't know. Uh, but whatever it was, it sold pretty fast. Uh, not a very good picture. I don't think the color is that accurate. Um, I, I labeled it as green. It is green. But in these pictures, it looks kind of more gray to me. So I'm really hoping the buyer likes it. Uh, they have received it, so no no negative feedback yet. Uh, we'll see what happens. Another vest sale. This is a great vest to have. Men's XL North Face 550. You can see right down there. I got a better picture of it. 550, that's how many grams of down are supposed to be in there brown two-tone because it's got those two uh, brown colors right there and it sold after 184 views it sold in like two days i listed it on february 3rd it sold on february 5th uh, to a guy out in california and he paid full price 99.95 it shipped priority mail i uh, was, i put it in a poly mailer and put that poly mailer into a padded rate uh, bubble mailer so it shipped for 820 uh, i paid like three bucks for it so a pretty good sale here. Here's a fun one. Uh, start time, February 2nd. I think it sold on the 8th or 9th. 
the room widescreen Tommy Wiseau with underwear insert. You're thinking, what the heck is that? It's right here. Uh, when he sold these, I don't know if it was a gimmick or what, but you could buy underwear on TommyWiseau.com. I know that he funded the movie by like selling leather jackets. Uh, kind of an interesting thing. Not all of the um, not all of the DVDs had this insert in there. Uh, the going rate was about 10, 12 bucks without the insert, so I put it up at 14.95, uh, and I did sell it full asking price. Now I put it as acceptable condition. Realistically, I'd say it's more like very good or like new. But for all the media I sell, it's always going to be acceptable unless there's something really unique about it, because I do not want to set the buyer's expectations too high. Got this jacket uh, on the 29th, I believe, in a thrift haul video sold on uh, February 6th and then uh, it started the auction time or the, the buy it now time was uh, January 31st at about 1 p.m. So it was a, a $79 full price sale sold to a buyer in Vermont I think so I shipped it priority mail cost me about nine ten bucks uh, I paid five bucks in the store so uh, with the AB, eBay 15% um, that's like my general guess on fees 15% of 80 is $12, $17, $25. So I made about 50 bucks on this sale. That's pretty good, pretty good. This one I showed you guys in a, uh, a, a, a TikTok or a short vintage Timex Sinclair 1000 personal computer and 1016 16K RAM module in the box. The box had some damage. If that damage wasn't there, I would have priced it at 100 bucks. Instead, I priced it at 84.95 plus 99 cent shipping. That was an accident. I was listing sports cards earlier in the day, uh, and I do 99 cent shipping on sports cards if they're low value because I'm trying to get people to bundle them together. And if you have shipping separate, that kind of incentivizes a buyer to buy more if you offer combined shipping like I do. And it just stuck on there. The buyer didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. Uh, so I actually made 85.94. Uh, I paid about 22, no, 20 bucks with my discount. Um, it cost I think 12 dollars to ship eBay fees are 15%. So again, I made about 30 or 40 bucks. Let's see, 85 minus 20, 65 minus 12, 52 minus 15% uh, is 40, about 40 bucks. So whatever, it was a really cool sale. Uh, sold in a week, which is pretty crazy for an old thing like this. And as you can see here, my foot's just hanging out in the picture. Uh, my photos were not like professional level. I picked this up in a thrift haul in the beginning of February. It's sold in about four days. Uh, it's a Fitbit, uh, what is it? Fitbit Zip FB301C black wireless with no dongle. So a dongle comes with these, it helps it sync to your phone or your computer. Didn't have that, had the box. Whenever I have an item that is missing parts, I always put it in the title. I'm not trying to trick any buyer. I want them to know immediately like, hey, no dongle. These dongles, you can buy them for like seven bucks um, to replace them. I could have done that and then listed it at 60 bucks, but I said, you know what? I'm not, I don't want to wait for that to get here and worry about forgetting about it. Uh, so it sold in just a few days for 40 bucks, full asking price, and I paid, I think, five bucks for it. Our final thing, really cool item. You also may have seen this in a YouTube short or a TikTok or an Instagram post. Uh, Lurk. Labor and Industrial Relations Center, Maritime Labor Relations on the Great Lakes. A book, no sales history, no comps, but stuff like this, like, where else are you gonna learn this kind of information? It had kind of like anecdotal experiences about Great Lakes Labor Relations, had some really cool graphics like you can see right here. Just interesting stuff that I knew somebody is gonna pay 60 bucks for. Um, it isn't like the kind of thing a dummy wants. You gotta be kind of intelligent to uh, collect this stuff. Intelligent folks make more money usually, so I think 60 bucks for a little piece of history like this uh, that was made in 1959 is very fair. It sold in, I think, three days. I'm pretty sure it sold on February 1st. Full asking price, shipped media mail, went to a buyer in Manhattan. So if that was you, thank you very much. Really appreciate that. And here were 10 pretty simple sales. I had more than this, but these are all items that I picked up on thrift hunts. Um, and so now you know, like, hey, when I'm buying these things, I am telling you the truth. They're going to sell. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe. If you're new, give it a thumbs up. If you're not new, I don't know. Thanks for sticking around. And uh, our message for today is I. Write down the letter I. I think I might be repeating myself. 
you know where it's going. If you don't know where it's going, watch the initial, and I'll put the playlist right there. Thrift Hunt series. It goes over all of it. It's fun, and uh, I'll see you guys later.